Oh my god, well, was it a good trip? Was it a bad trip? I mean, what else would I have done? I mean, I could have been at home, but I went down there and got myself the Super G Europa Cup victory, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, once again, though, the downhill was not as good as I wanted it to be. Uh, I'm actually not sure what's what's failing on my downhill skis and skills at the moment, but. Uh, worth going down there for sure. I mean, Super G win is always, I mean, you're boosting your self-confidence and it's good for the next season. So. The coming month, or what's coming up, I mean, that's, the coming month is, it's going to be most of it in Aura Sweden, in the Swedish Nationals, doing the, the Red Bull home run. It's a Chinese style downhill thing where it, you're about 200 guys starting from the top of war and then basically it's just the first guy down wins which which I won last year and I'm planning on doing this year too it's a, it's a great race by the way if you're a Swede you should join that see how see how far behind you are I mean it's it could be interesting for you uh, and then we do have the Ewan Olsen I don't know actually what it's called it's called what the fall Alpine Challenge by Olson and Big Mark, I think. Uh, which is a dual song team event for, I think, eight teams. In Aura, too, as, at the same time as you, my brother's freestyle event, the June Olson Invitational. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Ted Ligeti is showing up with Tommy Ford. I'm not sure which, which other guys are coming, but it's, it's gonna be a great race. Um, and then, then we have the challenge. The cross country and downhill challenge against the world's fastest cross country skier, Emil Jonsson. Uh, what is that for you guys who missed that? It's I decided to challenge Emil Jonsson, who is the who won the Sprint Cup in cross country this year. He also took a bronze at the Sprint World Championships in Oslo. Good for him. Good job to him. I decided anyway to challenge him with basically see who's the fastest skier in Sweden since I'm the best downhill skier in Sweden um, which means I'm the fastest skier in Sweden uh, I wanted to see if I'm actually faster than the cross-country skiers so we made a bet uh, we're gonna race a two-minute downhill it's pretty easy, it's pretty flat, it's not Kitzbühel stylish or Kitzbühelish or however, it's, it's pretty easy or it's very easy. Uh, two minute anyway, down in a race, but we're doing it on cross country skis. Uh, and after that we're doing um, a cross country race, 200 meter sprint, absolutely flat on the Lake of Aura. We're doing it with downhill skis, with the poles, with the helmets, with the speed suit, with everything. So what do you guys think? Do you think I'm standing a chance? I mean, most of the guys I'm asking, they're like, no, you're, gonna, you're not going to have any chance. And I, you guys that think that, you're basically missing the whole point. I mean, for sure, he's super fast in his country skis, but, but there's no way, there's no way 